guys, thank you so much for watching this uh, toy photography video. Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time and I've been needing to do this for a very long time. So today's video, I'm gonna go over everything you need to have or any gear you need for toy photography. Okay, so this is all you need to be a toy photographer. Literally all you need is just a toy of any kind and a phone, a camera phone, a smartphone, a camera. That's literally all you need. You don't really need anything special to be a toy photographer. Not at all. Like when I first started I had just my phone and a couple toys and that's what kept me going. And then later on I just kind of found more and more things that I liked, more and more things that I needed or wanted to better myself or whatever as a toy photographer. So you don't need all this fancy stuff, but I'm still going to go over every single little thing that I use and that I like to use and I think will help you with your toy photography adventures. So I just don't want you to think that you need all this fancy stuff to be a toy photographer because you don't. One of the most common, probably the most common question I get is, where do you get your toys? What kind of toys do you use? So you can literally use any kind of toy you want to, to do this. It could be some old McDonald's Happy Meal toy you had when you were a kid, and it would work and probably look kind of cool. <laughs> There's plenty of places you can get the action figures I use. If you live in the United States, you can get them at Walmart and Target or in GameStop. Those are probably the most common places I go to get them. Amazon is a spectacular place to get them. And a really, really great online retail store is Big Bad Toy Store. I'm sure you already know it. They are just like probably the biggest with this kind of thing. And you can get anything you want. And if you're curious on what kind you want, let's say you want to get a really cool Superman figure. Go on Big Bad Toy Store, search for a Superman, and you'll get a bunch of different great results. And you can kind of educate yourself on what kinds of action figures or toys work better for you based on your price or your articulation or whatever. So definitely give that a try. I have Big Bad Toy Store linked in the description here as well. So one of the things about this video that I'm really excited for and that actually took a lot of time was I have almost every single item linked in the description below. So I tell you, I have this. If you want it, you can go down there, click on the link and buy it if you want it. Uh, so I really wanted to make it super convenient for you to watch this video Okay, that looks great. I'm going to buy it. Boom, right there. And all the links actually below are affiliate links too. So that means that if you decide to get one of these things, please use one of these links that I gave because that will actually help me out quite a bit as well. I'm really hoping this video can be just like a big, just all in one thing. This is what you need. Here's where to get it. And you get it and that's it. So I hope that works for you. And if you do decide to use one of these links, thank you so much. So first things first is my camera. This is what I use. The camera that I use is a Canon Rebel T6. It's relatively cheap. You can get it for around two to three hundred dollars. I have it linked below. Uh, it's a very very nice camera, and it comes with um, a couple different things. It comes with some lenses. This lens here, uh, it's one it comes with. It's an 18 to 55 millimeter. I've used it for years. It's really really great just as is. Like you could buy this camera and be good for a while. And the yellow skin, it's actually not a yellow camera. It's just like a little piece of rubber. And I bought it because it's kind of cool. But in my head I was like, I should get this rubber camera because my camera goes through some abuse with fire and water and dirt. And this actually might help protect it. And I think it has, uh, if I'm being completely honest. It's, it's helped it out a little bit. So. That's what this yellow, yellow thing is on here. The lens that I most commonly use when I take photos is a Canon 50 millimeter lens. So the reason why this is a good lens is because you can bring your aperture down really low to like 1.8. It means it'll have a really, really strong focus on one small thing and kind of blur out the rest of it. And it also kind of brightens up your photo too. And I like that because the more blurry it is on the outside, the more bokeh I get with my water and explosions and stuff. So that's why I use this lens. This little thing here is a remote shutter. So you basically will hook this up in the side of your camera over here. 
and then you can put the camera down and go all the way over here and push this button and then you can take the photo. It's very, very useful, especially for me when I'm using some kind of weird effect where I need to pour water or something while I'm also taking the photo. Uh, it's very, very useful. I also use the, the timer for it as well. Um, it's, it's very, very useful and it's only like five, eight bucks or something. So yeah. So the next thing to get into are uh, the tripods I use. So the main one that I am using most often is this one right here. This is a Monfrotto little mini tripod and I really like it because it'll have like its normal stance and then it'll also go down really low and you can you know adjust this here. It's, it's good and it's not super expensive. Some tripods are really expensive. This one is not. But this is the main one that I use here. I have this labeled down in the description as main tripod. So keep a lookout for that one. I don't use this one too often. This is actually just a very basic and generic large tripod, but every once in a while I do use it depending on the photo. Um, so that is linked below. It's pretty cheap, basic, tall tripod. It can go like six feet because every once in a while I'm taking a photo on something or I want to get a, a below angle or an above angle. Having the, the tall tripod is very, very useful. This little bendy tripod is a super cheapo, depot thing, whatever, but uh, I use it because it's got this smartphone thing. So I very often, when I'm taking my behind the scenes photos, I'll set up my scene and my camera, and then I'll put this off to the side too, so I can record my behind the scenes with this. It's very, very cheap, and it's cool because it's bendy. I also linked it down below. It's not really a huge thing, but it's useful. And that's all for tripods. By the way, I'm kind of grabbing all of this out of this giant bag. So I have this, this is what I carry around with me to every toy shoot for the most part. I like having everything in one and it's got a ton of little pockets. I can put this, this, this and stay really organized with all my junk I'm bringing around. Uh, so I did also link that the same one that I have in the description too. If you want to do it, I got to put it in there just in case. It's really, really nice. So there it is. The next thing, very, very important, is the wire that I use. Everybody uses some kind of way to hold up their figures. A lot of people use wires, or you can even use the stands that come with the figures, but this stuff is golden. Actually, it's just like aluminum, but but it's, um, it's really useful. I use it for everything. I'm sure you've seen me use it a million times. I have a tutorial exactly on this wire that I use. It is a 16 gauge all purpose wire. I got it at my local hardware store, but I did also link basically the exact same wire below in the description. So yeah, I use this to keep them floating, the figures floating, and um, I use them to just keep them in a nice natural pose without them falling over. Really, really useful. So, this is one of the biggest things right here, is just cheap wire. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So one really important thing about toy photography is looking really cool while you're doing it. And you know, it's not always the easiest thing because toy photography is weird, but if you want to look cool and do it, I got these really cool shirts on my store that's also linked below at sirdork.com. So, you know, if you want one, they're there too. They're pretty uh, affordably priced and, you know, they're pretty cool. So, just gonna throw that out there too, if you want one. <laughs> the next thing is this. All right. The, uh, the air gun blaster thing. I'm sure you've seen me use a million times in my photos. This thing is awesome. All you do is pump it up like this, pull the trigger and then it blows a bunch of air and it's perfect for hitting some dirt around, hitting some water around. It's just really, really fun to use and it's really useful. So a really funny story about this is I put a video up on TikTok about this and it's funny because I didn't really like the video, I wasn't happy with the photo, but I threw it up there anyway and it went viral. It has like two and a half million views, but that's TikTok for you. Make sure you go on there and put your toy photography on there. Definitely do that. But the makers of this saw it, BAM, they're called B-A-A-M, BAM. They saw this and they're like, hey, we saw that you used our old model of the BAM thing in your toy photography. We would like to send you our new one. And I was like, whoa, that's cool. <laughs> so I got the new one. 
and it's right in here. So, and to be honest, I kind of like the way the old one looks. So this is the new one. It's red, and it's easier to use, I guess, because you don't have to. I don't know it's got a nicer angle, but I do kind of like the the like the look of the the gun, whatever. <laughs> so I guess you can pump more air into this one, uh, so it's a little more powerful as well. So um, there it is, little bam. So thank you for sending me this, bam. Uh, that was really cool. <laughs> I just like. I don't know. I would never think that like the maker of this thing would be sending it to me, um, but that was really cool. So I linked both of these in the description. If you want the new red bam thing, you can go get that. Or if you want the old classic air gun blaster thing, that is also linked there too. And uh, I'll also have my video about this thing uh, linked above or below on the video itself. So yes. So the next thing is my main thing for lighting, which is Loom Cube. Loom Cube is amazing. They're a really, really great company. And I'm sure you've seen, I'm wearing the shirt also, by the way. But also, I did not get this for free. I bought this because I loved it and I wanted to wear it. I'm sure you're familiar with these little lights. I use them very, very often in my videos. And they're very, very important because they're very, very powerful and they are durable and waterproof and they're perfect for toy photography. There are so many different kinds of them. Here's the normal one, the Loom Cube Air, really, really great. The Loom Cube Panel Mini, there's just tons of them. And they have tons of little accessories. They have, there's, there's just so much to go with these, including the cool little case that it's all in. So I couldn't recommend using these lights anymore. So I am an affiliate with Loom Cube because I really strongly believe in their product and I use them almost every toy shoot. So yes, Loom Cube, check that out and use the link specifically below that I put down there. And I also have a promo code. Uh, it's changed recently. The promo code is just SirDork and that will save you 10% off uh, any purchase on the website. So please check them out and get yourself something really nice and you will not regret it. And actually, uh, one of the things I use most often with these is this tiny little micro tripod. It's called a micro tripod, and they're perfect. You can just kind of put on right there, and then it's just like exact, almost action figure height, really. It's, it's really, really great. So I have that also linked below, too. Another big thing with lighting that I use very often is this light reflector thing. There we go. So... Here you go, it's, it's already demonstrating itself right now. It's reflecting the, right, the light right in your face. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, I use this very often when I'm taking photos outside in the sun because I can kind of use it to um, take control of the sunlight and bounce the light back, boom, against the figure. It's really, really great. I use it very often and it's very cheap. So um, definitely a good purchase and a very, very useful item to have for toy photography. The next thing is another huge one. I talk about this all the time. Atmosphere aerosol. So what the heck is this can of stuff? It's really the most simple thing ever. It's just a little shake and a spray and that alone will change your photo. It's just a little bit of fog, a little bit of atmosphere effect for your photos that can really stand out and change your photo for the better. Uh, I use it very often for many different things and I have plenty of videos demonstrating how to use this. So I'll have that linked in the box here that you're watching too. So um, yeah, atmosphere aerosol, heck yes. Super cheap, only like, um, I think it's like 30 bucks for four cans or something like that. Really, really great. So recommend, yes, atmosphere aerosol, heck yes. So the next thing I'm going to show you are just a bunch of random things that I use. I have them linked below also, but you can probably find these anywhere. But I threw them in there anyway. So the first thing being just these knee pads. Such a lifesaver because I do all of my photography for the most part on the ground. So I'm putting my knees on the pavement or on the dirt or something. And my knees kind of get, that hurts to do that. It hurts. So these are a lifesaver. I use them all the time and I look probably ridiculous wearing them, but that's okay because 
It's all about the photo. It's all about the shot. Some knee pads. Yeah, those are linked below. This is just a bunch of sticky tack. I keep that with me at all times because it really helps with um, repositioning things, helping figures uh, accessories in their hands. If I have to move their head up, I can put sticky tack in there. I can put this on a wire to help stand something up. Sticky tack is incredibly useful with toy photography. Very, very cheap. And I have this exact one linked below. Needle nose pliers, I use these all the time, specifically with wires, um, but very, very useful. I threw them on there too. Also, my blowtorch. I use a blowtorch all the time to light my fireworks. So this is totally unnecessary. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I don't need this. This is totally unnecessary. <laughs> I like it because I'm a pyro. I get a little bit of extra reach when I'm trying to light something and also holding the camera. But the main reason I got this is, well, using just a little lighter, and it's windy outside, and the lighter doesn't work, it's very frustrating <laughs> trying to light something with a lighter that will not light. This will light without any problem. It's always going to be there, always going to light for me. That's why I use it. Um, I can't link this in the description because I don't think you can even send this in the mail. I don't know, because it's unnecessary <laughs> and flammable. But I did link, there's these little miniature soldering torches that you can get also that are only about this big and do basically the same thing. So I linked that below too, which will be helpful. So there's that. So uh, the next thing I actually keep in my bag with me is this big uh, bottle of fake blood. Uh, I don't do the blood effects very often, but it is kind of fun to do, uh, just to make fake blood in your toy photos. So here is this, uh, it's linked below, it's a different one, but it's still just fake blood. It's really easy for you to also do the same effect with just some food coloring. I use water and food coloring with a lot of photos anyway. So that's linked below too. If you want this fake blood stuff, it's in there. It's down there. There you go. <laughs> so the rest of the stuff I'm gonna talk about, I don't have linked below. And that's only because I can't, because I can't, you can't really get this stuff online and it's tough to recommend these things and tough to tell you where to get them because it's different depending on where you live and especially the big ones are like fireworks so that's what i'm going to talk about next are fireworks so some of the ones i really like quite a bit and before i get into describing each one that i have with me uh, i have several videos on fireworks specifically so uh, if you do want to see those they are all in the tutorial section of my on my channel so definitely check those out for a little bit more in detail, but I'm still gonna go through each one that I kinda like and keep with me at all times. Uh, the big one being crackling balls. They're just these little explosive balls that explode and leave lots of uh, sparks and effects. There's also these giant crackling balls, which are really great and really loud, but also very useful. These are called little crackle barrels, cracker barrels or something, but they just like blow up and spark for a good like five minutes straight with little sparks, but I do like those. These little smoke bombs are really cool too. You light them up and a bunch of different color smoke comes out. They're really cool, but you must be careful with these because the smoke will change the color of your action figures. They will stain them, so be very careful. These are a lot easier to find. You might actually be able to find these online. I also have just various other different uh, kinds of fireworks I bring with me, just like these little uh, uh, spark fountains. These are the fuses. These are really cool, just because a nice little spark effect I also like these little um, spark fountains, these are really nice. Um, so with fireworks, I get all of them in a giant fireworks shop that's about four hours away from me, it's in Pennsylvania. I have to take a road trip and bulk up on them. So yeah, getting fireworks is different depending on where you are. They might not be legal where you are, it's tough. So just do your best. Try it maybe on eBay, but uh, just as long as you be careful when you use them, that's all. So. Um, good luck finding those. I hope you're able to. Uh, I just did a tutorial on these also. Sparklers. I absolutely love these. I use them for a ton of things. I have multiple uh, different ones that I use. Like these. If you want a little more information about those, check out the sparkler tutorial I posted recently. But those are the same. Hopefully you can find those somewhere. But yeah, I, I'm lucky and I can get them pretty easily. Try eBay. Some people search and find them on eBay. 
So the next couple things are just a bunch of really random things you probably already have lying around your house that are really, really useful just to have with you while you're going out to take toy photos. So one just being a rag, I always keep a rag with me because my hands get dirty or wet and I gotta wipe them up, whatever. Um, I keep a bunch of newspaper with me just for who knows what, if I need to start a fire or whatever, it's useful. I also always have these like big Ziploc baggies with me so I can put all my firework trash in there so I'm never leaving a mess because that's really important. Uh, I always, always keep just like empty water bottles with me so I can fill them up and use them to pour um, water on stuff to make effects. <laughs> I use them pretty often and it's also good to have water with you too, especially when you're dealing with fire, just in case. As far as my gear for toy photography goes, that is it. That's basically all I use on a regular basis. If there are things you've seen me use and I forget to mention them, please do mention them in the uh, comments below and I will uh, add them in uh, in the description with some links. I hope this was useful for you. I hope you found some new things. And again, if you do decide you want any of the things that I'm listing here, uh, if you could use one of the links that I'm leaving here below, please do, because that will help me out quite a bit. So, yeah. So, as you know, uh, you can find me and all of my photos, my toy stuff, on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Twitter. It's all also linked below. All find me at SirDork730. Thank you all so much. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys. You are awesome. Thank you so, so much. I'll see you later.